Hi, this is Kara, and I'm going to do a short tutorial um, using WordPress um, and the plug-in Beaver Builder, which um, is going to help you. It's, it's a different um, text editor, currently working in the back end. Um, you have um, a regular text editor, and this is what you're used to editing in your text in. And what um, this is currently um, just a one column, you know, set up here. But I'm going to show you how we can take, and this is actually two columns, uh, which is easily, because most, most you're dealing with one, one column. Um, and the easiest way uh, to change the formatting from three column, four, four column, or even with your um, back to single column is with Beaver Builder. And this is how it works. So I have it loaded in here, and so you have your choice between the text editor and the page builder. I'm going to click on the page builder and open this up. And you can see I have already created this text, and we're going to edit it exactly in the same format. I can go in and um, it's just like working on my web page. I get to see what's actually happening. To do that, I just need to to uh, click on the content area and your normal text editor window comes up and you can make any of the changes you want here and save them. And this is a two column format. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this one actually is within this content box and right now we're only working within the content area of our website. Um, I'm using the free version so we do not have templates. Um, or tools. Uh, we just click on the um, at the content and here are our columns. So this is drag and drop. I even sometimes forget. You don't click on it. You need to actually drag it to where you want it to work. We already formatted because we have our um, sidebars all, already preset with this template. If this was a single uh, full width uh, format we could actually bring in left sidebars and create them with this, but we're not going to for this website. And today, we're going to grab two columns and we're going to add them to the, we're just gonna hold on to this, drag it to the bottom of all this content, and we're just gonna hold it down here. And now we have these two boxes. Now if I click on them, uh, I come up with some styling. I could do a background in these. There's a lots of some other stuff to do, but this is, does not allow me to edit it. And the reason being is I need to add. You actually need to bring in click content again. I have to bring in the text editor because I can bring in a photo, um, video, um, or audio into any of those boxes. But we're going to bring some more text in. So I need to drag to the bottom of this long column and put this text editor here and up comes my text editor. I have a little bit of generic um, text. I don't know if I still have it in my... Yes, I do. So I'm going to drop drop this in here. I'm going to say you can format it your normal way. I'm going to do a little H2 and stage 3. I'm going to save it. And I just brought in some content there. Uh, and then over here, um, I can do the same thing. I can bring a text editor, uh, but I might want to even. I'm just going to show you a couple of little things. Is uh, If you want to bring in a photo, I grab that photo. I drag it down. And I can put it right in this box. I can go right to the media library, select a photo. Save it, and there's a photo. Um, and I can do this, bring in some more content, I'm going to bring some more content in. Same thing, I got to bring my editor in, paste a little content. And there, I've got a, a, a two column format. And I can also, 
content. You want to change to go back to some headline text here. Just remember, you always got to bring an editor in if you're putting text in. That is the, the, the key thing. And I can play with my lorem ipsum here a little bit. I can and go to a go to a three column. As you can see there, these are the fun things that you get to do formatting your pages. And um, I definitely go experiment. Um, I think you really like the Beaver Builder. Um, it's a it's a nice a nice thing to do to to balance and rebuild your pages. Um, I find a lot of my clients are really starting to like this because they can actually see more of what they're doing right actually on the page. And then when you're done, you click done. And you would click Publish Changes if you had it exactly the way you wanted to. Save Changes, Exit, um, Cancel to go back and work. Uh, I'm working on exact, uh, an existing page. I don't want to make changes. Um, so I'm just going to discard and go back to the page the way it was. 